Okay, hi guys, you got Ken Appleby here. I'm going to show you how to make an animated GIF banner. Okay, uh, you can use these concepts to make any animated GIF you want uh, or any banner of any size. Uh, but this is the general concept, so um, just watch and I'll, I'll try not to go too quickly here. I'm going to try to fit, fit it into 10 minutes here. So basically, of course, what you want to do is get your banner, you know, standard size would be 468 by 60. There's also a bunch of other standardized sizes, and then you put it out on the web to promote, you know, your opportunity, your affiliate product, whatever it is that you want to do. And um, so, of course, an animated GIF, if you don't already know, is just basically three frames um, that play over and over again. So when you go to a banner, like when you go somewhere and you see a banner, it's just three frames. It's just generally speaking, it's an animated GIF. As far as I know, they're all animated GIFs. Excuse me. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make uh, three basic frames in Photoshop. Uh, we're going to turn them into PNGs. That's just of the image uh, file format that I like. Um, you could also use JPEGs or, or GIFs, but the thing about PNGs is they have a really high uh, picture quality, so I like to use those. Um, and then we're going to add all those three um, PNGs into a single document, a single PSD file, like a Photoshop document file, and then it's going to make those individual PNG files into layers. Okay, and then we're going to um, uh, and then we're going to compile those layers into an animated uh, GIF. It's actually about a 50 times easier than I might, may have made it sound there. So just watch and, and we'll see what's going on. Okay, so okay, let's. Um, I'm going to just fix this palette here. Um, okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to open up a new document. You're going to size it the way you want. I'm going to kind of go a little bit faster on some of this stuff because I want to make sure I fit it in. And it's not really a Photoshop course. If you need Photoshop help, you can always just contact me and I'll try to help you where I can, okay? So you open up a 468 by 60, okay? And then what you're going to want to do is go to the paint bucket. you got this uh, color selected, okay? You're going to just paint it in there. Now, I like, instead of a straight color background, I like a gradient background. So right click on the layer that you're working with there, click blending options, and you're going to go on to go to uh, gradient overlay, uh, click on the uh, word, and then you can choose what kind of gradient you want. You want this one over here, which you'll choose from your palette, and I'm going to reverse it because then it puts the shade at the bottom. You can also mess around with these other settings, but like I said, it's not really a Photoshop uh, course. Uh, but of course, you can do that and you can ask me for help. So now you got a nice background. What I'm going to want to do is get an image and some text. So I'm going to pull up an image. Uh, this image, I just grabbed it off of uh, Google Images, um, images.google.com or whatever it is. And uh, I just cropped this balloon out. So um, that's how I got that. Control A to select all. Control C to uh, select to copy it. Then you go over here and you paste it. Okay, that creates a new layer here. And uh, I'm going to move that balloon over here. Okay, now I'm going to put some text. I'm going to make the text color white because it'll be easy to read on a, on a green or dark green background. Okay, so now we're going to um, play around with the letters a little bit to make them look better. So right click on that uh, layer you want to adjust. And we're going to go to a uh, stroke, but I don't want red, so click that, click that, and pick a black color. And then uh, the other thing I like is a drop shadow. Uh, you can also mess around with, you know, the inner glow and, you know, the, all this outer glow, inner glow, all this jazz. Uh, you know, some of it's pretty cool stuff. Anyway, figure that out. So now you got your first frame, okay? So you're going to want to save it as a PNG. So you go File. You go save as and you go to PNG down here and I'm gonna save it that one okay now you have this here um, let's let's modify it for the second frame Okay, that's good. Now I want to um, adjust the balloon and where where it is, or the image. I'm going to move that. Okay, so now we can save that as the second image. Save it as a PNG file format. There we go. That name is good. Okay, now we're going to adjust to the third one.
Okay, now we're going to move the uh, balloon. And we're going to save this as the last frame. PNG. Save it as the third one. How are we doing on time? Five minutes. Okay, good. All right, so you got your three frames. Now we're going to uh, compile them into, make them layers into the same uh, document. So we're going to open, so here's what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to open a new document, make the size right, 468 by 60. Okay, good. Now we're going to open those three uh, individual images. Okay, so you go here, control A, control C, paste. That makes the first layer. Then you go to the second one, control A, control C, control B is a paste. That makes layer two, and you do the same over here. Okay, so now you have a three layer PSD, this one right here. These are the individual images, you get rid of those. Now you have this, it's got three different layers. Okay, so now we're going to save this as whatever you want to call it. Okay, so now you're done in Photoshop. Now you go to Image Ready. Okay, now you open that Photoshop, that PSD document. Okay, here we are. So now what you want to do is go to View, no, sorry, Window animation okay that brings up the animation window and then what you're gonna do is click on uh, this little arrow here and you're gonna say make frame make frames from layers okay so that gives you the three different layers okay or the three different frames now if you just play it it just flies through so you have to um, adjust this um, the settings assist speed that which is right here you can put it on um, two seconds each and then if you play it oh sorry that's point two You can see that it plays. Go to runwithcash.com. You want success? We can help you get it. There you go. All right, so that's how you create your animated GIF. Now you go to uh, File. You don't go to Save or Save As. You go Save Optim Save Optimized As. Okay, and then uh, this is Images Only GIF YouTube Final, and you say Save, and that's it. So now, if you go to so we opened a new document with the three layers. We opened the animation toolbar. Then we made layers into frames. And we set the timing and we saved it. Okay, so now we're going to go into there. Where was I? How am I doing on time? Shoot, nine minutes. Okay, and that's it there. When you open it up, it plays. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. This is Ken Appleby. Of course, as always, I'm here for anybody who needs me. Uh, that's how you make an animated GIF. Um, good luck. Cheers.